Hi guys, welcome back to YT Andy channel. It's another day in Chongqing. So today the plan is we will start the day with a local breakfast. This seems like an interesting place. It's made in a very old temple design. But this is seems to be famous for our local food. Let's have a look. And hidden in this alley is this beautiful temple. It's more than four centuries old and it's called as the Arhat Temple. It had a Chinese name earlier, but this seems like a Buddhist place. It's morning time and still the lights are so bright. It really reminds me of Japan, Korea and Hong Kong. This seems like a good place for food. Oh, yeah. this is bright and has a lot of choices as well. Oh, the food is smelling so delicious. Actually, the whole Chengdu and the Chongqing trip, the food has been fabulous. Like, we haven't got a bad experience so far. We've settled for a bowl of traditional Chongqing noodles. The interesting thing about this bowl is it's not just looking very yummy, but it costs just 7 yuan, which when converted into US dollar comes to less than a dollar. It's actually 98 cents. And this is not canned food. This is freshly prepared meal. It's quite astonishing. That's an impressive street art. And the vibe of Chongqing is very energetic. Chongqing is a very creative city. Look at this convenience store. It's just a regular Lawson, but they've given it a flavor. It looks cool and colorful as well. Yeah, there's another cute convenience store. It seems Lawson has a concept. Now, this one is a teddy bear collection. Yeah, and it's also interesting. Yeah, so Chongqing is doing things in style. We are in the Jifang Bay area. This is the main central square. We're heading towards the Liberation Monument. You can see that in the distance. So this place is actually in Yuzhong district, Yuzhong district. And if you ever stay and plan a visit to Chongqing, I think this place is very recommended for living. This is central, very buzzing, and it is close to almost all the attractions. This is Jifang Bay. And they have a fair going on here. And there are pavilions of many countries, uh, Pakistan, Belarus. Okay, that's Philippines, where we live. I'm at the stall of the Belarus, uh, Belarus country. And this is a very interesting vodka. It's 56% alcohol. And it's bare. 
It looks very cute. It must be very, very potent, I think. And they also have some very interesting chocolates. We tried one of them. And quite nice. It's a bright sunny day and the square is bustling with action. It is really amazing. We are now close to our next destination. Let's go to the famous Elling Park. We are now entering the Elling Park or Elling Zhenji as it is called in Chinese. This place is very unique in the sense that half of the park used to be a, a state of a rich man and the other half of the park used to be a fortress which was combined later into one entity. Hence it has a hardness of a fort and it also has a softness of a private residence. Let's have a look. This is very beautiful. Now this really looks like a courtyard of a estate of a rich person. It doesn't give you a feel of the park yet. China, you have markets and bazaars almost everywhere. So this is one inside the park. And this is a cute little bonsai section. This park is famous for the city views, which I will show you in a minute. So these are the spectacular views of the city and that is the Jalin River. And this goes on. The views in Chongqing are actually like 360 degrees. Wherever you take the camera, if you can rotate it 360 degree, the views will never leave you. Let me zoom the view and show it to you again. You can see how the infrastructure is developed in the city. It's got the hilly terrain. I can see a monorail track which you might not be able to see because the camera doesn't have a zoom. The engineering marvel of Chongqing is a wonder to behold. And that's the Chinese style garden and it's beautiful. This actually is located in a residential area which seems very quaint and upmarket to me and the topography of the city is again hilly and it's very interesting. We're heading to a very interesting spot. We're heading to a place called this Test Bed which is an arts and culture center. Uh, let's see how it is. We've reached a place called as Test Bed 2. This is a hipster bohemian kind of a place has got a very creative vibe it's sort of an arty area with bars cafes and different types of stores let's check it out Thank you. 
And they have bazaars everywhere. It seems like a Instagram friendly place. I see a lot of people posing for photographs at different places. Almost every major city in China has one or two places like these, which are like industrial areas converted into a creative concept. There are scores of people here. So this is a place called as Deer Tea and they actually have a deer here. And uh, the place is Quite creative, wow. And you can actually feed the deer. Sorry, face the camera, deer. Oh. It's got an interesting array of stores. Chongqing is known as a foggy city because of the two rivers. We were lucky to get a good sunny day today. And in Chongqing, you never run out of views, so you have a good view from here as well. Okay, it's evening and we've come to one place called as Paradise Walk. While this is a mall, the area around Paradise Walk is quite commercial and it's a good place to generally roam around. So this will be the place where we'll have our dinner. Paradise Walk is a very large mall. It has five blocks, A to E. And you see, we are right now seeing the D and the E block. This is inside of uh, the Paradise Walk. Oh, these stores are very well lit up.
the energy of Chongqing is unmissable. China is very clearly energy surplus and it shows in this place. The lights are well lit up and the place is jam packed. This kind of reminds me a bit of Shibuya Crossing in Shinjuku in Tokyo. This place matches uh, any other Asian city in terms of vigor and vitality. This is section D of the Paradise Walk. The scale of the small is astonishing and so is the dazzle. Now we are heading out to section A and B. It's dinner time and it's trying to give a shot to hot pot. Hot pot is a famous punching uh, dish and I want to try it again. Okay, so that's the mala spice and they've added water to it. So that will be the broth, the super spicy mala broth. So this is the soup when it's boiled, um, the spices have all got dissolved. So this is usually very spicy and flavorful. So you have to dip your meats in the food so that gets cooked in the soup and then you can have it. So we're waiting for the meats to arrive. So the meat is cooked inside the soup and I've tried it. It is very spicy. My spice tolerance is very high. But this is not for everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please remember to leave a like and watch my other videos on Chongqing. I've also made a playlist for videos in China. Have a look at them. Thanks for watching.